good evening dear friends welcome back to the third hackathon on the artificial intelligence and let me just tell you that his thought to get this hackathon he is actually creating vibration and the ripple effect which is going at the india level is something which is unimaginable more importantly let me just share with you that in the process we all are learning the learning is going to a different level only for a simple reason i make the statement that the youngsters who are actually coming forward and showcasing their talent as a panelist is actually motivating our senior members also thank you daya sir and it's a uh... encouraging as always to listen to you and this time it's a easy thing to adopt technology by listening to you and uh, yes sir uh, we all are very excited for today's hackathon and uh, as you said these hackathons are becoming like uh, ipl matches many offices are uh, showing it live on their screen and articles and employees all of them are sitting together and uh, uh people are giving ranking so it has become like dream 11 team or circle 11 team who will uh, uh, score how many runs so it has become a, like an uh, ipl uh, season like a ai hackathon season for all of us so thanks to all the panelists thanks to all participants and uh, let's start our today's third hackathon now let's move toward the next panelist that is Rishir Soni and friends, you will enjoy his use case. He is one of the masters. Let's see how he plays in our hackathon that is IPL of AI. Over to you, Rishir. Thank you very much, sir. So first of all, uh, good evening, everybody, and I thank the selectors and C A Dayanavas Sharma sir, chairman, and C O M E Sharma sir. vice chairman of the committee for allowing me to speak today and uh, a little bit about me i am a practicing chartered accountant from indore and i'll be speaking today on ai and drafting particularly about drafting income tax notice replies using chat gpt now before we go deeper into the ai portion let's just have a look at the challenges which uh, we might face while drafting a notice reply manually specifically if it's a complex one i hope the screen is visible also so the first challenge is that uh, a manual notice manual drafting of the notice is very much time consuming there might be some clients who may just come to you at the last very last minute who may just require you to draft a notice at whatever uh, information with whatever information you have on them whatever the information they can provide in that little time and it may lead to certain delay in submissions and even compromise deadlines now as because of the human error formatting errors will also occur and this can lead to inconsistencies and also potential misunderstandings or misinterpretations of some of the sentences which the department might take it otherwise and such inaccuracies can definitely result in your legal implications and this is something which your client may not have wanted in the first place so let's talk about how ai can overcome all these challenges and how it can simplify the work of you as a professional first of all it can save your time as drafting a reply through chat gpt is as simple as uploading the reply and getting a response here you can that's why you can just focus on the structure on the meaning of the content meaning or, or the flow of the content rather than focusing on the structure of the content you can see if the ai has generated the information as you requested it as it is applicable to the client rather than focusing on whether the statements of facts is there or the whether grounds of appeal are there or other things are there or not also since ai is updated with the latest browsing techniques uh, rules regulations income tax guidelines and all those things are just within the barriers of ai so it helps us to make more accurate representation accurate replies of the notice and enhances the quality of our work as a professional then it enhances the productivity as well see if you were to make a notice uh, reply which was some sort of a complex scenario manually making it might have taken an hour an hour and a half but using ai you can reduce that time to as little as 15 to 20 minutes 
by uh, allowing it to generate the reply, reviewing that particular reply, making the necessary changes and customizations, and then uploading it to your uh, income tax portal. So this was the process which I just mentioned that it's as simple as inputting the notice details or attaching the notice PDF or the Word document, whatever format it is, into the ChatGPT interface and writing a prompt to for the AI to generate a response. And then reviewing that particular response, making corrections, customizations, adding or uh, deleting certain things to just to ensure accuracy and relevance, and then finally uploading it. So let's have a uh, demonstration with this use case example. The case scenario is that your client ABC Limited has uh, received a notice from the department and you need to prepare a reply for the same. For the sake of this uh, presentation, I've created a sample notice, which I'll share very quickly to you. Uh, just a moment. Vishnu, please help. Yes. Okay. I hope the screen is visible. Yes. Yeah. So I've prepared this sample notice just for the sake of this presentation. And I'll just quickly go, go through the summary of this notice. There is a company called Trouble Limited and your assessee, your client is ABC Limited. What has happened is that Trouble Limited had a search being conducted on its premises and there were some documents or transactions which uh, implicate your client ABC Limited with regards to some sort of an income escaping assessment or some sort of an illegitimate transaction. And ABC Limited has been ordered by the department to furnish a written within 90 days to prove that those transactions are from legitimate sources and that it's not an income escaping assessment and no income escaping assessment should be conducted against your client. So all we need to do in this case is copy this entire notice, either the content of the notice or just upload the entire notice to the chat GPT interface and design the prompt here. Now for the sake of uh, limited time, I've already designed the prompt and uh, I'll just add the same from this presentation itself. Uh, sorry, I think the screen share has turned off. Yeah. So for the sake of time, I have just decided, uh, designed this prompt and you can see that first thing which we need to understand is while giving a prompt to the AI, we need to be as specific and as express as we can be. Here in this prompt, I have written the first of all, the very first thing which you need to do is introduce yourself. What capacity are you writing this? Are you the person who is in-house legal counsel of the company or are you an authorized representative or are you an external reviewer? Whatever the case is, depending on what the case is. So here I've written that I'm an authorized representative of ABC Limited, and I want to draft a professional reply to the income tax authority, referring the DIN number and the notice number in the uh, reply. And I want the format to be such that the first uh, should be the facts of the case, then the specific points which I need to put in that particular reply, which are that the transactions with Trouble Limited are from legitimate sources. They are well documented in the purchase register of our client and the client books of accounts have also been audited. The products purchased have been used in furtherance of the business and therefore have been incorporated in the income tax return filed as well. However, the uh, client, which is ABC Limited, shall also file the income tax return, which was mentioned in the notice within the time limit as prescribed. And we'll just click enter. So the GPT will start working and start generating the response now. Now, here you can see that it's generating a very uh, specific formatted response. If there happens a scenario that your office has a specific drafting format or your office has a specific format for such uh, responses or replies of notices, you can simply attach that format as, as well, uh, allowing the GPT to understand it, making it as a reference, and then drafting the reply accordingly. So here I have not attached anything like that. But as you can see, it's already doing a great work. It's starting with the response to notice under section 138, mentioning the DIN notice number, using the words like learned assessing officer, uh, putting the facts of the case, including the amount involved, the transactions, whether they are legitimate, that we are attaching the copy of the ledger, and that we have used this particular transactions, the purchases which we have done for the furtherance of the business. And therefore, we have properly documented the entire trail 
and that we'll also file the income tax return in the given amount of time as required by the department. Towards the end of the notice, as I have mentioned in the prompt here also that we uh, want to plead that uh, this particular notice is uh, should be concluded from the department's end because the transactions are legitimate. So it will do the same using a concluding plead here. That Last upon two minutes remaining. Act, the substantiated record, it is most respectfully submitted that it's not tenable as per the act and therefore the proceedings should be concluded. Now this entire data you can copy and paste it to your own word document or your own drafted uh, presentation format or you can just select excerpts from this particular uh, extract and use it as per your convenience. So this was essentially the demonstration of uh, the GPT. Now I'm going to just conclude with my presentation and uh, just a moment, let me just get to the presentation. Yeah. So now I'll just conclude with the presentation by simply saying that AI has enhanced efficiency and has transformed the way how professionals can approach for document drafting. And it's just not limited to notice writing or uh, re preparing proposals for the engagement, but also related to integrating your AI and analyzing the documents which you have received. It can be as many as an annual report of a company. You can just put it in there and uh, perform your data analysis on it. So with the help of, as Daya sir also mentioned earlier, that with the help of our professional expertise and using the AI along with our knowledge itself creates a valuable synergy and it results in optimum outcomes. So this was my time. So thank you very much for being a patient listener and I hope you have a great day. Thank you, Rishir, for the perfect representation on section 148 of income tax. It's again a hot topic. Many of the People have received these notices and how to draft, how to question, how to prompt and all things have been beautifully covered by Rishir. Hats off to you, Rishir.